We have to differentiate ourselves from economists and statisticians and other people who play in this field. And the answer, in my opinion, is that we understand financial risk. And a lot of companies are more and more health companies, ACOs and so forth, are taking financial risk. So the actuary who understands who is a potentially high risk patient and how much you may be able to reduce that risk, financial risk, I think is bringing something to the table that the clinicians just don't understand. We have a real role here, I think, if we are able to really make the case to sell ourselves, sell our expertise. The health actuary has got to become part clinician, part epidemiologist, part health economist. Obviously, we're still actuaries, part statistician. There's a lot of things that we're going to have to add to our toolkit. I mean, that's part of what I became an actuary to do, was to help solve problems. I think the industry has bought into the concept. So that was barrier number one. Barrier number two was data and we may have much better sources of data nowadays, so I think that was number two. I don't really see any barriers, which is why it's an exciting place to be right now.